Hello friend, and welcome to Zuzucorn's Expert Mode Guide and Tips for the Casual Terrarian. In this Expert World Guide, I aim to give you tips and tricks to survive Expert Mode, defeat the much harder bosses, and also offer gear progression hacks, all to help you through your very first Expert Mode experience. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon too, so you won't miss anything. To begin, let's create our world. I know that we haven't done Crimson on this channel yet, but for your first Expert World playthrough, I highly recommend doing Corruption instead of Crimson. Why? Because the Expert Mode Corruption drop, the Worm Scarf, is way more useful than the Crimson one, which is the brain of confusion. So trust me on this. The Worm Scarf will help way more on your first Expert World playthrough. So here we are. As with every world, start by getting trees and building a basic house. I'm going to assume that you know the basic progression in Terraria. If you don't, feel free to check out the Casual Terrarium playlist, which is more beginner-friendly where I'll explain more about progression. So let's go through a bit about Expert Mode and our game plan. In Expert Mode, enemies are much tougher. They have more health and deal higher damage. As a result, the first important thing that you must know is that defense is key. The defense stat is enhanced in Expert Mode, meaning that each point of defense will reduce more points of damage. So I recommend making wood armor. A good starting tip here, you can actually make a few wooden swords until you get something with a decent modifier. They are cheap to craft and the extra stats from the modifiers do make a huge difference. So here's our game plan. I recommend rushing the meteor armor immediately. The space gun combo will put you at a decent spot for the easy enemies. Yes, you heard me. The OP combo in a normal world will only make you decently tough in Expert. So to do that, we have to break a Shadow Orb for a Meteor to spawn. In this stage of the game, we can't mine Ebonstone yet, so we have to utilize bombs, which are sold by the Demolitionist. He will move in when we have explosives in our inventory. So first things first, explore the world for chests and pots, and try to find explosives like bombs and grenades. Try to get a gem hook as well, as that will help you a lot with mobility. So exploring the right side of the world, we have the snow biome, which is nice. In expert mode, touching water in a snow biome also gives you the chilled debuff, which slows you greatly, so watch out for that. We also have the corruption here, which is too dangerous now, so we'll avoid that. Since there are no open surface chests around here, let's go underground a little just to explore. Nice, we stumble across a chest right here, with climbing claws with the guarding modifier. That two defense will help a lot. But no bombs or grenades yet. I feel like there might be a chest or something up there. Surface chests usually spawn in open pockets in the ground, just like the first one we found. Oh, we actually got some emerald. That's good. Hopefully we can find a bit more for the hook later on. A quick tip here, you can cover your digging hole with something, just to stop monsters from dropping on you and killing you. It's nice that we found some clay as well, so we can make clay pots ASAP. Potions are basically essential in expert mode since the enemies are so tough. Whoa, what? Dude, I was checking the map. We were killed by a tomb crawler. Wow, we must have gone into the underground desert without noticing. Well, let's go somewhere else, I guess. One thing I want to mention here though, for expert mode, when you die, you drop 75% of your coins, which enemies will pick up and try to run away with. So most of the time, when you die, you lose almost all your money. So another important tip here is to save. Always put your money in chests. Since we don't have anything significant now, it's still okay if we die. So let's explore the underground ice biome then for some ice chests. Well, we haven't found much yet, but we have stumbled to the border of the corruption which is exactly what we want. We have to break a Shadow Orb, but going into the corruption from the top is extremely dangerous and we'll probably die. So the way I recommend you to do it is to work to an orb from the underground, like so. Ah there, right there, target acquired. Right, so here we have reached the Ebonstone block border. We can't mine Ebonstone yet, so what we need are bombs to blow our way through. So let's take note of this area and continue to find bombs. Ooh, we finally got something. We got a house here. Nice, we got our bombs with the Hermes boots too, which are essential for the Eye of Cthulhu fight. 
Since we have bombs now, let's expand our house a little so the demolitionist can move in. Maybe we can get the merchant too, who moves in when you have at least 50 silver. Okay, that'll do. We actually got the merchant already. I recommend getting the bug net first. That will let us catch worms for bait, which is used to get the reaver shark later on. The bug net can actually earn us some money too. You can use it to catch critters like bunnies, like this, which actually sell for quite a lot of silver. If you find a gold critter, you can sell those for a whopping 10 gold. So this is a really reliable money source. So because we ate that live crystal just now, the nurse actually moved in. So let's expand our home a bit more. Ah, there he is. Great. So buy as many bombs as you can and let's go. Craft some sticky bombs using gel and bombs. These will stick to blocks, so this will help you to make your way to the orb. Well, now that we're here, use a hammer to break it and make sure to loot the drops. Or you can also just throw another bomb in if you want to. Now we wait. We have to wait for meteors to spawn, which is usually at night. In the meantime, let's just explore more. Oh, we found the marble biome. This is a really, really dangerous one because the Medusa, usually a hard mode enemy, can spawn pre-hard mode in an expert world. We got the skeleton merchant though, nothing much. Think I'll get some torches cause I'm running low. Oh, oh no, I think this is it. Ah, yeah. Oh well. See, this is what happens when you don't cover your hole. Oh nice, we actually got the meteorite though. So I guess I'm fine with that. Meteorites spawn on the outer two-thirds of the world. So let's check out the left side first. Wow, a lot of chests out here. But so far, still nothing. The jungle is on this side too, which means that the dungeon is on the right side. The jungle and dungeon are always on the opposite sides of the world. Well, that's it. No meteors here. Let's go the other way instead. So, on the right side, we were lucky enough to find a surface level water bolt, which is really lucky. It has a bad modifier though, but that's okay. Ah, here it is, all the way to the right, near the ocean. So just get your bombs and blow up the meteorite like this. Throw it upwards so that it will be more stable and land where you want it to. Make sure to be careful of the meteor hits that spawn as well. They deal really high damage. Try using your strongest weapons, like an enchanted boomerang, a bow, or shurikens. Once you've blown up a sizable amount, dive in to collect the ore. It's alright if you die. We missed a lot of it, but from that we actually have... 77 bars. Hopefully that's enough for the entire set. We have the helmet, the breastplate, and the greaves. Do we have enough for the space gun? Nice, we do. So congratulations! With this, we have reached a decently strong level in both defense and damage. This puts you at a pretty stable spot for the start of expert mode. Let's get the rest of the meteorite in case. As you can see, the monsters don't stand a chance anymore. So just collect the rest of the meteor for safekeeping. With all of this done in the first episode, we are now ready to fight the Eye of Cthulhu and progress through the world. Preparation is absolutely essential in expert mode, so don't skip out on that, because none of the bosses are pushovers anymore. Keep in mind the tips that I've given you, like how defense and modifiers are key, and you'll be okay for the start of the game. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon too, so you won't miss the next episode, which is a detailed Expert Eye of Cthulhu boss guide. This has been Zuzucoin Games, by casuals or casuals. Have a nice day, and have a great week ahead. Bye bye!